getting his quote unquote favorite hero of all time. He's gonna pick it if it looks like a good game. He sees the Tide Hunter, he's not afraid of it. And he sees the Medusa carry matchup, and he's also not afraid of that, Brian. What I of course, was Duraccio has absolutely demolished on in this tournament. Pure, this is not a good start for you, my friend. He gets the bounty rune, he's getting blocked. There's the blood grenade. There's the Frost Blast. Who will the first blood go to? It is Duraccio again. He is the Tide Hunter killer this tournament. Or about just winning super early to the point where you're just snowballing. As save, getting gone on now. Duraccio's rage wears off. Duraccio he can take is a gush. In trouble here. Yeah, Frost Blast to give him a little bit of cover, but he actually dies. So the Life Stealer Master outsmarted. He five. Huskar versus a level three. Oh boy, Duraccio's Amber Spirit. Dead. Second death for Duraccio. The cover of Overlord. That. You just offer your team a lot of utility in the fight in terms of like just raw HP from a golem, or you get armor from the dragon, or whatnot. Oh, Duraccio. Oh! Third death of the game. Oh on his my favorite God. hero. This is very unfamiliar territory. Let me. All right. Here's a radical statement. Life Stealer sucks. When it's behind. Okay, Pure gonna Very ravage radical. on oh. top of Quinn, who's just gonna turn his sights and just finish off the tight end himself. But you can see the impetus, oh. how much damage does to Quinn. He actually gets denied by the neutral of all things. Wait, how? I think it pulled the creeps, and it, I think that's the small camp that <laughs> actually that killed That is him. so random. You might have to see a replay on that one. As across the board, it's a two for two. And now the rest of their team that's doing fine, right? We had the Huskar mid who was doing well. Obviously, Beastmaster's looking okay, but. Duraccio is going to be a big question mark here. Still, Ruby Bullet. Look like at the network. Really uh, he has no line of defense in this game except Frost Shield. Yeah. So, if his game isn't good, Man, this hero, is. this oh, hero has to play aggressively, and it's going to be on the same team. And it's not easy. Your hammer. Oh. Oh, and the stomp here onto Duraccio is already at half health. As save. He's getting gone on by Stellar. Here comes the Ravage, though, trying to turn this around onto Duraccio. Has the Rage up. No Infest yet, and the oh Impetus just kills him. Quinn is going to die, too. Quinn left all alone. Quinn's well, Tofu fine. comes Quinn's in with a blast fine. off onto Quinn three. Fine. But they do finally kill off the creep, but they can probably dive this. <laughs> it's the Meteor Hammer coming through as well. Quinn, the lone survivor. Ah, uh, for now. He has to be careful. Doing a lot of damage to GPK. He will get the kill. Good nice armlet toggling. Doesn't have his ult up, so can't go any further. Damn, that was a uh, point a little bit earlier. But the reason you want to max school friends is it's your farming skill, right? It gives you attack speed. So, yeah, um, it sucks to not get that all the time when you can. Tell who's dead. Oh, save is actually just running this map. Yeah, he can be the creep. Yes. Ravage. Oh, we have a ravage, and impetus is more than enough for Quinn to take another tumble. So, oh, talk about. Cutting it close. That was about as close as you can be to hitting a slide without hitting it. An absolute curb stomping in terms of net worth, but the lineups just really don't lend themselves to gaming right now. Demonic, Demonic Purge. Purge on the Celery. Yeah, he's dead. Nightfall's here to help clean it up. He's going to get Sinister Gaze, though. There's the roar as well, pushes him back. It was on an illusion, actually. He will Stone Gaze TP. Quinn, in the meantime. Was running away initially. Now might want to turn his sights back onto the offensive side. Gets the li oh, life break actually canceled thanks to that sleight of fist. So GPK will probably just run away. In fact, gonna try to turn this around on a Quinn as the meteor hammer will connect, and he's triple teamed. Life stealer inside. Beast is getting the stacked troll up. Creep. And Ace, this is the big kill. Nice blast off from Tofu, but the impetus again. Save is just doing so much damage on the back line. Duraccio trying to armlet toggle through. Searing Chain's not going to connect, but they should be able to get this kill anyway. They will find the Medusa eventually, does Gaiman, but it costs them three members and likely a fourth in Celery. So Ace, the only survivor. They get power runs, right? Like Haste or DD or something. But Lane was lost not. at that point. Tofu. He's going to mech up, save, trying to get to the high ground, but it's not going to happen. Oh, Blast that's off not connect. A good disrupt. Yeah, disruption was a little bit awkward. That Actually, leads to save the dying, but a big Ravage coming in with the Meteor Hammer hitting one hero in Quinn. Chain Frost is going to bounce a bit. Here comes GPK on that Ember Spirit. Pure looking to just run away. Ace finally uses the Roar. It's on the Shadow Demon. Toronto Tokyo finally goes down to the Ogre as Quinn. He's trying to armlet toggle through, but that is the Stone Gaze. You got to just run. Cannot face 
The Snake Queen is ace now, kind of left to his own devices, surrounded by the enemy. And he will be brought to his knees. And that was the one here that needs to continue snowballing for Game and Gladiators. He's still top net worth on their team and second overall. Oh, nice That's find okay. for Quint. That's a big kill. Quint somehow wraps around through the stairs and... Unexpected huh. there for Pure. They didn't have any vision there, and Quinn just went for a high-risk play, but pays off big time. And they found the inch kill first. The disruption from Toronto, Tokyo, unfortunately, on the techies was after the blast off. So he still connected it on inch, and oh, looks like there's going to be maybe some revenge this here. This takes that. Oh, okay. okay GPK okay, will blast should off. get him here. GPK, he's greedy. He'll get it. He would have gone to the ends of the year. He literally would have found it. And, and Quinn getting the solo kill oh, on this tide. This is a contest. Bat boom have an idea late. that this is happening, but it's too late. Quinn with it's good on Ember as well. If used properly. Well, Gaiman, we're trying to disengage. And Tofu, he's going to pop the mech, but will be eventually brought down as Pure gets a Ravage off. Hits two heroes. Looks like Celery is going to be the sacrifice. So it's two supports there for Gaiman, but they... I mean, in essence, secure the Aegis, so fully worth for them. Yeah, not too bad. Ravage never getting their hands on it, but they can't really look for a push. Oh, Duraccio has to rage. Will infest into the creep, but it's going to go down very shortly after. Chain Frost to try to give him a little bit of space. Oh. He's frost shielded. Still stu two stacks of shadow poison, but he's probably going to be fine. As the Impale coming out from Pure, that's the shard, of course. It's going to spell the doom for Celery. This is an awkward fight for Quinn. Quinn. He wants to die. He will. That's the Aegis. Ravage comes out a little bit late, but it's enough to take out Duraccio. Quinn. Focusing right now on Save, who actually gets blown up by the Techies. And there's the Life Break on the GPK, but another Impale into the Meteor Hammer from Pure. And Quinn left all alone. Doing, you would think, a lot of damage to Medusa. We'll see in a few seconds as that continues to take his Duraccio apparently bought back into the game. Oh my now God, trying God, to fight out. his way out, but... Will not find the kill he was looking for. Duracha might and now die he again. might die to these illusions. The Nightfall Shard continues ready. to just right click. Impale again from Pure into the Anchor Smash. He gets off the armlet toggle. Duraccio oh. does tick away though. Tofu a little bit too late to the party. Wait. And now Pure looking for the high five. He They're not going to pursue any further. He died to Dragon Scale of all things. But yeah, Duraccio not able to have much of an impact. And well, again, uh, Impale from Pure. It's not Impale, Shannon. Feller. It's a tentacle impale. Come on, man. What's it called? I don't know. Tentacle surprise? Why Tentacular. Uh, why isn't it cost as much as they can, but it will go down. Oh, look nice at this, though. Game and are pushing equally fast almost. Yeah, fortification popped on the other side now. GPK. He's going to prevent himself. Oh, There's the ravage. ravage. Do they have the impale? They do. And that is enough to take Quinn out. A Did not expect the tentacle too. surprise. And that is one death, but... A couple members of Bedroom actually stuck around, which means Game of Gladiators might be able to take advantage. It's only going to give them save, but I mean, he's felt like a carry this game, so that's going to feel good at the very least. Items, then, then the eggs. Oh, drums pop. They want Toronto Tokyo. Blast off hit. They will eat him alive. Celery with that. Actually, buys back into the game. They want to fight. Duraccio. Yeah, they're not going to give them this rush for free. Not again. They're going to go right. to town. They're going to challenge yeah, them. They want to fight. They know that Ravage is down for the time being. Illusions will spot this out. Snakes coming in. The Impale actually connects onto two heroes. Quinn getting really low. He gets infested and thus will survive. The Aegis claimed by Quinn along with the Roche kill itself with the cheese taken by Medusa who actually eats it right away. Inner Fire actually almost pushed Medusa out but still inside the pit. Aegis now consumed. Buyback onto the Lich. Ace will pop the BKB on the sideline. As you see, is that Quinn inside the pit? He's going to get tentacle surprise and brought down to his knees. And with that, I believe Game and Gladiators will attempt to get out. Tofu, you're at the corner of the map. There's nowhere else to go. You're waiting for patch 8.0 before they add a doorway to hell there. It's the little thing sometime. You know, like We're going to have our fourth and fifth impale. This in is a very, shortly. very dangerous proposition for Game and Gladiators. They want to get on to save. They better burst him instantly. If he gets to four yeah. staff to his teammates. He's got the MKB. There's the roar. Blast off as well. They're not layering that well. He's actually going to get saved with the disruption. Tofu actually infested, so he's going to stay alive a little bit longer. The seller on the outskirts. Looks like he's going to survive for the time being, but there's the Ravage coming through. They've already lost the Techies, and now Duraccio's next. Quinn getting kited and brought down as well. Four dead for Gaiman. As Ace, the lone survivor again. 
And that is going to be a lot of buildings being destroyed. If they knew there was no buybacks, they could probably end here. Medusa is strong enough with Shadow Demon Disruption to actually clean house, but they don't know for sure. GG's Doesn't called. matter. So Bet Boom win game three and win the series as a result. This was a this was a very cool game though. Yeah, great. I have to say. Great series in general.